Welcome back to the channel guys, Farm Sim Snowy here. So we have a awesome mod out today which is the 10th of March 2022. This is by Omatana and I am a big fan of Omatana's mods and this one is right up there as well. It is called Farm Production Pack. It is 43.09 megabytes to download. It's got quite a few buildings in the pack. So we've got some production chains, sort of factories. We've got some big ones. We've got some small ones. And there is also five cell points, which I've got out over there, which we'll take a look at everything as we go. But this, it's got a few tricks and surprises up its sleeve so before you go oh well it's just a load of production chains again blah 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 this will use up products that don't get used in the standard base game productions so by that i mean things like soybeans corn tomatoes and lettuce things like that which you will see in a second because in the base game one and some of the mods that we've had out there's been nowhere to sort of further on your lettuce and tomatoes etc like that well these have been designed to use those products so that is pretty cool and not only that this provides 10 new production products now I'm talking things like french fries, a mixed salad, popcorn, strawberry ice cream, 10 of them, new ones. Would also produce all of the base game production products as well, which we'll take a look at. So I think first of all, before we get carried away with the production chains, we're gonna look at the sell points. We'll get them out of the way for a minute and I am going to start up this far end so first of all we've got two shops it's basically the same building but we've got a stone brick one and like a plastered rendered effect but as you can see it's exactly the same layout and design that's the same building um, these are this one's 22 slots this one's 21 slots we've got a market store which is absolutely awesome that is seven slots we've got just a grate or grill on its own that is three slots and then we've got just this zone and that is one slot like so so first of all i'll show you where you can find these so in your build mode these will be under not animals production and selling points so once you go past all the standard in-game ones i've got no other mods um, installed so there's the shop that's a thousand to buy there it is spin it around do what you like with it we've got the shop again that's obviously a thousand as well market stall is 500 the great is a hundred and the sort of zone area is a hundred to place as well and obviously you can spin all those around do what you wish with them now in terms of being able to sell things there if we go into this menu into our prices menu it will it doesn't take everything but it will pretty much take all your standard crops so as you can see on the right as well as the sell points that are on this map i'm on elm creek there's all the other ones that have been added in um, you'll be a bit clearer in a minute when we scroll down but like i say it doesn't take everything so if we go down to say for instance sugar beet cut there's no option there cotton as well it will not take um, sugar canes back to normal and obviously eggs and wool things like that is going to be there and wood chips nothing for silage or wood or grass hay straw look they're not there and then you've got random things like diesel you can sell there and then obviously all the production 
palettes and whatnot like that if i scroll right to the bottom we get our 10 new products so there at the top we've got french fries so we've got all the five sale points i've placed down plus a gold crest valley there which is obviously the train sale point on elm creek now when we scroll down they're all still there but when we get to noodles which is also called spaghetti in some bits of this um, mod which you'll see in a second there's another sell point added in there which i'm going to test out so we've got the five plus gold crest valley and then when we come to noodles we've got the five gold crest valley and right at the top there we've got bakery production small white and that is the one i chose to place down so basically that's saying that we can sell our noodles at that bakery interestingly enough that bakery is where our noodles are produced so pretty cool then we've got tomato sauce we've got mixed salad oat drink oatmeal popcorn soy drink and strawberry ice cream which is absolutely fantastic so you can sell all those products at these sell points plus quite a few other options now we'll move on to the production chains i know it's probably a little bit uh, much to get your head round, but it took me absolutely forever to set this up but we're here now uh, there is five big production factories if you want to call them that um, they will pretty much produce everything all the new 10 products plus all of the base game um, production chain products as well so I've only placed one down because I didn't want too many buildings down I wanted to show you slot counts etc like that so these you'll find under production as well and these will be under factories and again once we get past the standard in-game ones we come first to the big ones so if you look on the right there you can see all the products scrolling across the crop types just absolutely everything this will produce plus like i say all the 10 new um, products as well so we've got five different sort of models of the large one we've got this stone one which again you can spin around got all the standard sort of markers and zones like that this one's 26 slots then we've got a barn one that's 23 slots we've got a barn medium so it's a little bit smaller that's 21 slots then we've got a alpine style one which is basically the same as the barn but obviously a alpine look to it and then we've got the one that i placed down which is the plaster one it says two slots there but that one is 26 slots again you can whiz through those and then we move on to the smaller ones which are these now there is six different um options for this so i'll go through it it's, it's a little bit confusing to start with but it's not too bad once you've got your head around it so there's six different um where are we production categories is what i'm trying to say so there's a bakery there's a potato one a dairy one a fruit one an oil one and a cereal one and out of those six there is three different style buildings you have a stone one you have the white plastered one and you have this sort of red one wood type one so so you think uh, so you don't think I'm mad first of all we've got the potato arm which is this one here I placed they're all 10 grand um, they are different in slot counts so the stone one and the white one they're 16 slots each and the little red one goes down to 12 slots and that is the same across all of them so like I say first of all we are on the potato production small stone on the menu 10 grand to buy then we've got the potato one in the small white and then we've got the potato one in the red 
then we move on to the bakery one which is what this one is I kind of went for sort of like different ones so you could see them all what the styles are so you've got the bakery in those three designs you've got the dairy in those three designs the fruits in those three designs and then oil and then the cereals are like that I won't go into too much detail about how the production chains work because I think most of you guys have got the gist but I will go through what you're going to need to produce different things now I have filled these up with different products that we're going to need to produce the 10 new things I'm not going to go through any of the other um, products because most of you have seen them as well we're just going to look at the 10 new ones so like I say I fill them all up and I go through individually and activate all of them I haven't activated any of them yet we'll sleep through the night hopefully we will get pallets for all of them if we don't I'll skip forward again so first of all on this big one we'll have a quick look round you've got your tipping point just there your pallets are going to appear there and there's your spanner to control your production chain they're all nicely detailed which you would expect from Omatana so if I go up to the spanner for this one obviously you can access your production chains menu from here but if you come up to the spanner it will instantly put you on that specific um, factory or production chain that you are on so we are on one of the large ones so as you can see on the left there is a ton of things that we can produce all the 10 new ones are at the top and then we go into all the standard sort of things that we can produce raisins grape juice all things like that cheese butter etc on the right hand side we have got all the incoming materials if i go back up to the top so these are all the materials that you can use depending on what you want to produce you don't have to fill them up with all of these and then eventually we will come to all the outgoing things so these are the things that will be produced depending on what you have selected so like so and you've got your standard things you've got your storing you can change your output modes of storing distributing and selling so it's all pretty standard like that nothing's different there most of you will know what is going on so as you can see i've got a load of corn in here because in this one i want to produce popcorn so for that you just need corn so put in one corn you get five popcorn out cycles per month 960 production costs per month two pounds euros or dollars so what we'll do is we'll do them all individually. I won't go through the whole 10 here because I have set it up that we are going to get all 10 spread out across all these different buildings. So we're going to activate our popcorn. That is now running. Happy days. We're going to move on to the potato one. Now these smaller ones do have little symbols up to tell you what you're going to get out of this obviously again depending on what you select and again on the bakery one like so so again very cool nicely detailed stone building you've got your tipping point there and your pallets are going to appear out the front and you've got your production chain there so in this one we'll go in here and again like I say it puts you straight into the one that you are on so this you can have french fries premium potatoes sugar beet sugar or potatoes pig food so for the french fries you're going to need potatoes and that is it so you're going to put every five potatoes going to produce four french fries cycles per month 480 production cost two pounds euros or dollars for the protein protein team premium potatoes you're going to need potatoes and water so five of each and you're going to get this is interesting four premium potatoes and two pig food so you will get pig food from that as well 
that is one of the ones we're going to set up as well i've got quite a bit of potatoes in there and water um, you will see that the capacities for each one do vary um, as we go through so there's no sort of set limit it depends on what one you're using i'm not really going to go into too much detail with the sugar etc like that if you want to make pig food that is what you're going to need for there you're going to need potatoes sorghum wheat and soybeans but we are going to activate the french fries and also premium potatoes because we have the required ingredients for it so that is that one done and dusted now this is the bakery and this is quite important this is something to note it does tell you on the mod hub description about this but i didn't really notice that until it was too late really so again very cool we've got our symbols up there of what it will take tip in there pallets etc they're all pretty much the same as you can see we are going to come up to the spanner and then like i say we're on to the bakery straight away so with the bakery you can produce a spaghetti that's changed from noodles now to spaghetti wheat flour barley flour bread and cakes now we're just going to focus on the spaghetti for this so we need flour to make spaghettis spaghetti or noodles i do have some flour in there not a lot because it took a while to get the pallets all sorted out so it's just like for like by the look of it one and for one but it says 2400 cycles per month and again two um, production costs per month now what i will say is if you look over to the right the outgoing products i have flour on distributing which you must do if you want to use this to make spaghetti because when i come up here with my pallets of flour they disappeared there and instantly reappeared there and I thought, what's going on? Is there something wrong? So I did it again, and it happened again. And then I thought, ah, I know what I haven't done. So you need to have that on distributing. So that basically distributes the flour back into the factory, I presume, to make our noodles or spaghetti. It says noodles over this side as well. So I'm going to activate that one, and that is that one activated. Happy days. Now we are on to which one was this this is the dairy so there you go there's your symbols up there quite a few things very cool as well this is the smaller one come up to the production chain bit and we're in straight away so in the dairy you can produce strawberry ice cream oat drink soy drink butter and cheese again i'm not going to go through all the butter and cheese because they are in-game base ones for the strawberry ice cream you're going to need three milk one strawberry and that makes four strawberry ice cream 960 cycles per month again two production costs per month oat drink you're going to need oats and 10 lots of water to produce 10 oat drink so you're going to need oats and water for that again 960 per month cycles i think the costs are the same across all of them so i won't go through that soybean soybean drink you're going to need soybeans and water so one soybean 10 water will produce 10 soybeans drink and as you can see on the right i've got a lot of milk oat water soybeans not a lot of strawberries but hopefully we should be all right i'm going to activate all three of those so we're going to go like so so they should be off and running like so and then we're back to the stone building but this one was um, the fruit production chain so again we'll go into there and this one will produce tomato sauce mixed salad raisins or grape juice so for the tomato sauce you're just going to need tomatoes so 10 tomatoes eight tomato sauce out 240 cycles per month 
And for the mixed salad, you're going to need tomatoes and lettuce, one of each, and that will produce two mixed salad, 960 cycles per month. So again, haven't got a huge amount of tomatoes and lettuce in there, but hopefully that will work. So we're going to activate those and move on to the next one. Now, this one here is the oil production one. This just does um, sunflower oil, canola oil and olive oil. So it's no different to the base game one. I will click on it. And there you go. I'm not going to do anything with that one because that isn't any of the new products we wanted to be looking at. But as you can see, you put in sunflowers, you get sunflower oil out, canola, etc, etc. So we will leave that one. There's nothing going on with that one. And then finally, we have this one, which was cereal, this one is. So there's your symbols again, exactly the same setup. Come up to there. So this, you can produce oatmeal, popcorn, or cereal. Now we're only going to focus on oatmeal because I'm doing popcorn in the large one. So the oatmeal, you just need oats, that is it. And it's one for one. 2,400 cycles per month though. Do have quite a lot of oat in there. As you can see, 360,000 litres of oat. It's not even halfway that bar. So that is what I mean about the capacities varying. So we'll activate that. So that is what we're looking on on that one. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then popcorn, hopefully at the top. Happy days. I think that is all that bit. So I'm going to skip forward now. Got a little sleep trigger over here. I do have this set up just in case we need to pick up some pallets to take them to the sell point. I do not have the liftable pallet mod installed, which came out yesterday by Yoss. Awesome mod. Because I noticed something when I was setting this up. And I want to test it to see if it is the same across all of them. So let's see what happens overnight. We're only on one days per month, so we should technically get... Well, I can see some pallets already. That is cool. Let's head over to... Oh, look at all them. The... Ah, that's interesting. We have some flour. So, do you have to change the flour to distributing on everything? But anyway, look at this. We have pallets of popcorn. Let me just check this. Um, yeah, we've got flour in there. I've not put any flour in there. That is weird. Yeah, flour. So it has produced flour, even though all we put in there was corn. I'm wondering if it's distributing that flour from the bakery to all of them. <laughs> that is interesting. So we're learning something here. Obviously there'd be no flour there that has flour in I'm confused now right we'll have a look at that in a second anyway right what I wanted to test is if you look at the field info there's our pallet of popcorn now it says it has 700 litres in this but look at the mass the weight of it 179 kilograms and like I say, I haven't got Yoss's mod installed. We can pick that up. So what I'm going to do is we should be able to sell this over here. We'll just go to this one. Sold. 137. <laughs> Not a lot. 
That's awesome. Can we pick the flower up? No, that is too heavy. So it looks like the new products, you possibly can pick them all up. We'll go around and test all that. Right, next up was the premium potatoes and french fries. There's the pre premium potatoes, french fries, pommes frites. Can we pick them up? Yes, we can. Absolutely fantastic. Can pick those guys up. Next up, spaghetti. That is all we produced at this one. Well, there's no flour here anyway, so I'm not quite sure what that was about. I don't know why there's flour over there. I, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, spaghetti. We can pick that up as well. Happy days. Moving on from there, we had three things going on here, didn't we? We had the oat drink, so we got pallet there we can pick that up we had the soy drink we can pick that up and then down the bottom there obviously we're not going to how to pick oh yes we can oh hello we we've got two pallets i wonder if we can run over and sell them oh steady so that is the strawberry ice cream at the bottom let's just go to this first sale point we're lifting two pallets here. That sold them. Awesome. And another pallet's just appeared over there. So that is going quite quick, that production chain. Um, next up, we had the, what was that? Tomato sauce and the mixed salad. So again, we can pick those up. And the boxes do look very cool and colourful. And then nothing was happening there. And then at the very end, we had our oat. That was oatmeal, wasn't it? Yeah. So again, we can pick that up like so. Awesome. I'm just a little bit baffled by the flour. Because the only one I put flour into was the bakery. And I'll have it on distribute, and I don't know whether it's distributing it to that. It probably is. So, anyway. Right, let's just have a little look at what is happening here. So the popcorn. Yeah. Happy days. Where's popcorn gone? That'd be at the top, wouldn't it? That's interesting actually. We haven't got any. Let's have a look at this one because this was the pig food, wasn't that? We should technically. Yeah, so there is producing pig food, but it's just not enough for a pallet yet. I presume that's going to be a thousand litres, a pallet of pig food. So that's pretty cool. We've not even really scratched the surface with the potatoes or the water. I think it was 200,000 litres of potatoes and 100,000 litres of water in there. So yeah, we're not even scratched the surface with them. As for this guy. Flour. Again, I don't think we used a lot on there. Yeah. As for this one, we had three things going. Oh, look, we've hardly used anything. And that is producing three products, that one. Wow. That is pretty impressive. This one's producing two. And like I say, I had hardly any. I think it was a, roughly around 20,000 litres of each in there. Because I just went a bit click happy with the viable pallets I've got that mod installed wow it's hardly using anything is it we're getting quite a decent return there let's check this one there was a lot of oats in there that was three three hundred and sixty thousand liters of oats we put in there 
and again hardly used anything in a month. Wow. Well there you go, I think I've covered everything. Sorry if I've brainwashed you and I've bumbled along but <laughs> that flower did throw me off a little bit. I'm guessing it's just distributed itself to there, I'm not sure but that is a bit random if it has but that is a very cool mod i like that a lot and if you're or you if you have got bored of some of the in-game base game production chain products this is going to give you 10 new ones to play with but there you go that is a look at omatana's farm production pack definitely giving that a try what an awesome mod hope you have all enjoyed it if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine oh wait i know what we haven't tried wait 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 i was gonna try Where's the spaghetti one? This is supposed to be a sell point for spaghetti, isn't it? Wow, I nearly signed off there, guys, without testing that. So, yeah, production product white as tag place. That is it, which we'll definitely know that. So, let's pick that up. Is that going to sell there? Oh, yeah, no, it didn't. What did that do? Right, I know what's happening. That's just appearing there. I wonder if you have to change that over, but then you wouldn't really want to change that over, would you, to... Um... Let's go on there, and then I know I'm on the right one. You wouldn't really want to change that over to selling, because if you do that, it's just going to sell automatically. So, I wouldn't probably use that as a sell point because if you do that you're gonna to have to sort of change all that over to selling and then obviously once a new palette appears it's just gonna sell again and I'm thinking I'm right in saying that you get charged a fee if you sell it like that but anyway that is definitely it I forgot to test that just remembered so I hope you have all enjoyed it I've been farm sim snowy Stay frosty.